video and today I'm going to give a review uh, of a modern day version uh, of Moogler Amen. <clears throat> so I've not had this that long, maybe a few months and it's a, a new batch if you will. Um, it's got just Moogler on it so it is uh, the newer stuff. If you want the older stuff you've got to have Tierra Moogler. Okay, so this has got Moogler Amen on it. And I know it's a very recent, more recent uh, patch, if you will. Um, so, or batch, patch. Uh, it's patchy, really. Uh, <laughs> so it's on my mind. Um, so, we know that Moogler has gone downhill, okay? Moogler, for, for its male fragrances, has really gone downhill. As soon as they sold it, uh, the, the rights for, the, for the fra making the fragrance, it's gone yeah um, I think they're just producing this uh, and a couple of the new um, angel for men line that's it and they're awful as well um, and this one is absolutely terrible compared to the original stuff which I've got a travel atomizer thing here um, I've, still, I've got a little bit left of this one and I've got one more atomizer full left replacement atomizer and uh, I see that it's got Yellow Moogler on it. So I've got some recent juice, uh, some recent juice, older juice. Yeah. So why is it the recent formulation so bad? So when they announced that it was reformulated, uh, I, I had a bottle and it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. Um, I, I thought it was okay. It's just slightly lighter. Um, the, the patchouli, uh, this um, tar patchouli was toned down a bit, um, but and, and the longevity wasn't quite as beastly. But apart from that, it was pretty much the same, you know. And oh, great! And not long, too long ago, maybe eight months, a year or so ago, I finished that particular bottle, um, and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll get myself a bottle, another bottle at some point because the reformulation isn't bad. So a couple of months ago, maybe. Um, maybe a bit longer, a few months ago I'd say, uh, I bought a recent one and it's from the website so it isn't um, fake or anything else. Oh, what have they done? What have they done to this pure classic? Now when you, when you, this is I say the most recent, so when I would advise not to buy this one. Put down an older bottle if you can. Uh, it didn't necessarily have to have uh, Tilly Moogler um, but don't buy the most recent you can you can buy don't buy brand new off sites or anything else it's awful um, so when you first spray this particular one um, you, you can tell it's amen right you spray it it's, it's got the amen smell it's got that patchouli um, it's got the, the darkness is there it's, it's uh, like a dark green and patchouli um, you know, it's got a little bit of that tar still there. You, 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 you know, most people know what this smells like, right? This is more like a rant than it is a review, right? Um, but well, you, then, and then as soon as you spray it, you think, okay, that's it. And then after a few minutes, you think, but it's it's hollow. It's like, uh, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know, for artistic sake, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, the, the first wall there is uh, the top notes, but you can still get the the, uh, the base notes and mid notes at the back. And if, if you if you sort of look through, you can still see and smell everything at the back as you can at the front. This one, you can smell the top, but it smells hollow. Like you look through and there's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's no mid. There's no there's no base. I think. So is it all just these the the, the aim and top notes? Yeah, it's it's all the other top notes, apart from one. And oh my God, the worst thing you can, for me personally, that you can put in a fragrance is in here in the base, and it replaces that nice vanilla and chocolate and all that. It just removes all that and puts one note, and that's praline. Oh, I hate praline as it is. The smell, I don't mind it in the, the actual thing, but the, the smell of praline in fragrances turns me off. It, it, it almost gags me, okay? Now, they use praline here instead of the chocolate and the vanilla and everything else. Like I said, remove all that, just put praline in. 
what have you done to Iron Man's drawdown? That is just a sacrilege, unbelievable. And not only that, not only have they used a note that I can't stand and shouldn't be in there, um, but it's the most cheap synthetic and nasty smelling praline as well. So not only have they used a very low quality praline smell, uh, but it's in your face as well. It's absolutely disgusting. I can't stand it. Um, and this one is leaving my collection. Even though I'd like to keep it as a, a, a centerpiece just to look at, because I think it's a nice, decent bottle, it's still exactly the same bottle wise. I cannot come to use it. And you're not going to be sat there in my collection if you're not going to be used. I'm not that type of collector. Um, they are they're, oh, the most beautiful bottle in the world because I like the glassware as well but if the juice inside isn't for me I'm going to have to let it go no matter how much I, it tugs my heartstrings because I love the, the, the way the glass looks and the bottle looks it's going to have to go because it's just going to sit there and it's going to do nothing and it's a waste of money um, so yeah, that's just me and uh, this one unfortunately is going to have to be one of those I wouldn't even, I'm not going to even going to give this away, this is going in the bin, um, that's how bad it is. I wouldn't give this away to someone and have them have this shitty experience, is what it is. Uh, how could you let your brand go down like this? If you want to discontinue doing fragrances, discontinue doing fragrances, okay? Which they, which they basically have by selling it to someone else. They've stripped them clean of their fragrances and just pushing shit out. Yeah, Moogler's gone from one of the best uh, of all time, in certainly top 10 of designers when it comes to releasing fragrances, and they've gone right down to the bottom. At least, not, not all the way down to the bottom, there are <laughs> a few areas should be should be down there. Uh, but certainly they're, they're nowhere near, not even top 50, you know. There's nowhere near where, where they are, there, where they are, uh, was. I feel so sort of gutted for um, the Moogler line. It's, it was one of my favourites now, it's just one of the worst, honestly. Um, I wanted this one because I wanted another um, one um, in my collection because I'm getting low on this one. And as I, like I said before, there was a reformulation before obviously this one, which was still good. And I thought I was going to be rebuying that, but it's not the case. I can tell you that now. So, uh, avoid at all costs is what I'm saying. So, that's it for the review. Um, let me know. Oh, no, I'll tell you what. Uh, I will say um, the longevity is now average if you can stand the smell. Um, but then everything's the same. It's for like winter wear and uh, and all that. I, I, I just one i just wouldn't wear it that's why i'm not really going into that side of thing when to wear it would you wear it and this and that i'm not gonna because i can't recommend we're wearing it it's absolutely disgusting it's a horrible smell um to me so anyway yes uh that's it for the review uh let me know in the comments below if you've tried a recent one and uh do, do you agree do you not agree do you still enjoy it you, you, you don't mind that praline instead of the chocolate all fair to you I just can't stand it myself um, and just to let you know the uh, fragrance uh, of the day while I'm wearing uh, is uh, Santos de Cartier uh, this is the concentrate version um, and real nice you know real nice uh, classic kind of smelling very green herbal uh, scent uh, dark and uh, quite rich for a you know modern uh, take on it so that's it um, Thank you very much for watching, really do appreciate it as always. Give a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, hopefully this will be my last sort of negative review because I don't really like putting negative reviews out and there's people commented, oh, I don't, I don't. oh well if you don't like it, don't, don't moan about it. Well, you know, we all like things, we don't like things. Um, you got You can't just not say something because you like it or what other people might think of you. Um, but I sort of get it because uh, I'm only really going to sort of fully review a fragrance um, if I actually really enjoy it. Uh, and then anything else that I don't like so much 
or I don't think I'm going to be bothered reviewing it. You might see in like a giveaway videos or uh, you know like um, declutter videos uh, or, th or things like that. And I've got one coming up after this video. So anyway, stop ranting, and I'll see you again soon on the next one.